Hey, this is Levi's Little Lectures, and I'm Levi from TorahFamily.org. I want to talk to you today about doing the right thing. Sounds easy, right? And it should be. But there may be some times when it's harder than we expect. But even then, we still have to make the right choice. We have many examples in the Bible of Yahweh's servants making the right choice. Many who had to go through hard times when making those right choices. Today, we're going to look at some of those servants of Yahweh. You ready? Let's read from the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 3 verse 4. Then the herald loudly proclaimed, This is what you are commanded to do, O peoples, nations, and men of every language. As soon as you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyre, and the harp, pipes in all kinds of music, you must fall down and worship the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into the blazing furnace. Wow, think about it. A law went out that everybody was supposed to bow down and worship an image of gold. Then if anyone did not bow down, they were going to be thrown into the large fiery furnace. Kind of like a huge fireplace. That would be kind of scary, wouldn't it? But this is where we see what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did. They didn't bow down. That's right. They didn't bow down. But the story doesn't end here. King Nebuchadnezzar was super mad. He had all three of them placed before him. He gave them one more chance to bow down to the statue of gold. If they didn't, he was going to have them thrown into the big fireplace. But look at what they said. Daniel chapter 3 Verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it, and he will rescue us from your hand, O king. But even if he does not, we want you to know, O king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. They were willing to do the right thing no matter what, even if it cost them to die. Wow! The king was so mad, he had the foreigners turned up on high before they threw him in. But even though they were thrown into the furnace, Yahweh still delivered them. That's right, they didn't die. They didn't even smell like smoke when they came out of the furnace. There's a lot we could talk about and discuss with just this one story. But the thing we really want to show here is how these three guys chose to do the right thing no matter what. We're all faced with different things in our lives where we have to make a choice in doing the right thing. Sometimes it may seem like it's just too much, but we have to make our minds up now to make the right choice. That's right, make your mind up now to make the right choices in life. No matter how much your friends may laugh at you, no matter how much you may have to go through, make the right choice in serving Yahweh. Whether he delivers you like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego or not, you'll know you did the right thing. We hope you have enjoyed this teaching. Remember, don't just listen to the word, do what it says. That's the only way to grow. Until next time, Shalom. All right. Daniel chapter, do I say that part? <laughs> okay. Pause. Who are you talking? Yes! Everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this. Take ten. <laughs> Was that actually the tenth time? I think so, yeah. <laughs>